In this video we're going to be taking a look at two concepts in set theory, one of those being a union, the other one being an intersection. Uh, to describe each of these, to get an understanding of what they mean, it's going to be easier if we do this using a Venn diagram. So if I am going to represent a union, that is literally the definition of it. A union would be putting something together. So if I had two individual sets and I was going to union them together, it would end up being all of both of the sets. So in a Venn diagram scenario, this is what a union looks like. <clears throat> On the other hand, an intersection, if I had two individual sets and I wanted to look at just the intersection, it would be the part that overlaps of the two sets. So it would be just the intersection or the part that overlaps. So for a visual representation of what each of those mean, a Venn diagram is a really nice way to look at it. Now for the examples that we do, we're actually going to be using sets of numbers. So in these first two examples right here, um, we could suppose that you are given, say, set A, and in set A, it's 0, 1, 3, and 5. In set B, it's 0, 1, 2, and 4. So from given that information, I can find A union B. Union means it's all of both sets put together. All right, so each number that is in both sets all put together in a final set. Now, there's a 0 in both of them. However, I'm only going to write that 0 one time. All right, there is a 1 in both of them. There is a 2 in this one, so I have to include it because I'm including every number in both of the sets. There's a 3 in the first set. There's a 4 in the second one. And there is a 5 there in the last one. So it's all the numbers in both of those two sets put together as a union. As a second example, if I wanted to find A intersect B, okay, I want to find those numbers which are in both sets. Okay, so we look through there. A zero is in both sets, and the one is in both sets, and that's all that is in both sets. So there is my intersection. All right, now showing problems and examples like this, they can give you define those initial sets and then ask you to find the intersection or the union. All right, or in this third example, they don't have to define them as in this is set A and this is set B. They can write a problem out like this using either an intersection or a union symbol in the middle and just putting both sets on both sides. So this one would be, I would be taking the set 147 and I would be intersecting that with the set of 2, 6, and 8. All right, so intersection, the numbers that would be in, duplicated in both sets. Well, in this scenario, I do not have any. So this is considered to be what's called the empty set because there are no elements in this set which fulfill the intersection. All right, so empty set is a definition of what that would be called. It could also be called a null set as well. And there are two mathematical symbols that you could write as your answer. One of them would literally be a set of set brackets with nothing inside of it showing an empty set right there. Or the common notation for an empty set would be a zero with a line through it. So two different ways to represent the empty set when the intersection um, does not contain any elements in common. So just a really uh, brief introduction on two concepts, two very simple concepts um, that you would find in set theory. Definitely thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.